Hello, welcome to another tutorial. In this lesson, we are going to be designing this road support. So, to start, we are actually going to be using a different modeling techniques where we are actually going to start with a block and cut the, the feature out of it to get the final part. So, let's change our units to metric and click OK. And on the front plane, let's draw a sketch. I'm just going to move this to the side. And I'm going to just draw a center rectangle, something like that. And we know the overall length of this shape is 113. So we are going to make it 113. And the height is 64. So we are going to make the height 64 and we are going to go into feature and extrude and we want to extrude it by the mid plane and we know it is 32 so let's make it 32 and click ok so now we have the basic shape now we can start cutting all the other features out of it so let's click on this front plane and draw a sketch normal 2 let's bring it over here and let's just draw a rectangle here and this rectangle make sure the center is the center point of this center rectangle is vertical to the origin point so the next thing add the dimension it is 35 and it is um, 17 high so the height is 17 so now let's just drag this down and make it coincident with that bottom face so let's draw another rectangle here and make sure the center point is also vertical and from this line to that line is 13 and it is 25 so let's make it 25 and also drag it up here so it is touching that and you can also draw the other features to the side but let's just do one feature at a time and we have that our sketch is fully defined we're going to go to extrude cut up to next and click OK so we have the middle part cut and let's click on that face again sketch normal 2 and let's draw another rectangle here and we know that from the bottom from the bottom to the from the bottom to this line which is over here it is 13 so we're just going to add a dimension from this bottom edge to that is 13 and what we can do is we can make this coincident with that and also make this coincident with that for now so we have the bottom edge is 13 and we also know that from this face to that face is 25 so we're going to make this top line 25 our sketch is fully defined so we are just going to feature extrude cut up to next and click OK and that part is done so the next thing we are going to do is we can add us um, cut the hole here so click on that face sketch normal 2 and draw a circle and we know from the back of it to the center point is 13 which is right here and from the right side of it to the center point is also 13 so from here to that point is also 13 and that circle is 11 the diameter is 11 so what we are going to do is now feature extrude cut up to next and click OK and we have 
another feature to cut over here so what we can do is click on this face sketch normal to draw a circle and make sure the center point of this circle and the origin point is vertical to each other or you can use the 16 but because since we extruded it by the mid plane everything is already centered for us because if i dimension it you see it is it is 16 so we don't need it so now what we will do is just add our diameter our dimensions to it which that is 13 the diameter is 13 and the height from the bottom edge to the center point is 46 so what we can do now is draw a two-point arc um no it's a three-point arc excuse me so click this edge and click that edge and just click somewhere up there and now make sure this arc and this top edge is tangent to each other and make sure this center point of this arc and the origin point is vertical to each other and now let's just add a dimension to our arc and the dimension is 35 radius and let's just draw a line to fully close that sketch so our sketch is fully closed and let's add a dimension to fully define it and let's make that 10 because of our arc is tangent to that so you just draw it out and fully define your sketch so you have something like this and now we are just going to go to feature extrude cut and this time we are just going to do up to next and click OK and we have our part and what we want to do now is just mirror the feature over about the right plane and the feature we want to mirror over is let me zoom in the feature we want to mirror over is um, this feature, that feature, and this feature, and click OK. So everything is mirrored over, and the next thing, last thing we need to do is just add our chamfer, and we go to chamfer. The length is 10, and the angle is 45, so 10, 45. So we just click that edge, and we click this edge, and click OK. And if I go to my isometric view, there you go. And we have that part. Anyway, thank you for watching and I will see you in the next tutorial. Bye.